Welcome to Green Acres, the place to be for education, generative agriculture, and the fine arts. Let's see how the magic of Green Acres can transform you today. Hi, I'm Sandy. I am a visual arts educator here at Green Acres. I'm sitting in front of the Green Acres Art Center, which was built in the 1920s. Its English Norman style architecture includes Romanesque features, fountains, and an Italian plaid style garden, all of which inspire me to teach you how to draw a mandala. Mandalas are an ancient art form, but they're still being used today. They're fun to draw, but they can help you to relax. The term mandala actually means circle. So mandalas are circular designs filled with geometric or organic patterns. Those patterns have a radial symmetry, which means they start in the center and they radiate out like the rays of the sun. Some of the things that we have as radial design here at Green Acres is the old millstone was used to mill grain and flour. Visiting equine were hooked up to the special harnesses and they were walked around the millstone, crushing the grain. Decorative wrought iron are on the outside windows around the nursery. They were added in the 1930s. They have a radial design that uh, radiates out from the central design, which are all nursery rhyme characters. But also, the sweet gum trees are planted in a circular ring around the fountain. So even our plants have a radial symmetry. Come on, let's draw one, and I think you'll see what I mean. You're gonna need a piece of paper and something to draw with. I have a sheet of white copy paper and a Sharpie marker, but anything that you have will work fine. Let's start in the center of our paper. We're gonna draw a tiny circle, and around that circle, we're going to draw some rounded shapes. You can have an even number or an odd number. It'll still work fine. You'll notice I'm turning my paper as I go. Your goal is to try to draw a shape that is uniform. That means in that row, all of those shapes are the same height and the same size. You can use geometric shapes. I'm using organic shapes, and mine is starting to look like a flower or something that you would find in nature. Each row is a little larger than the last and you can see how the pattern is radiating out. If one of your shapes is noticeably smaller than the others, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I do have a trick to show you so that if that happens, you can correct it. You can draw another line on the outside of the small petal to make it larger, and on the inside of the large petals to make them smaller. That way they look more uniform. I'm turning my paper so that my hand stays a little bit more relaxed. Okay, my mandala is about as large as I wanna make it. So here's the fun part. You get to fill all the spaces with designs that you like. I'm going to start with a line design, and I'm going to put it in this row of my petals. You can make any design that you'd like. You might see geometric shapes like hearts or circles. I like using lines because this is where your mind gets to relax. Your mind does not need to think about the marks that your hand is repeating. You can spend as much time as you want, and that's what makes this so relaxing. I like the detail that I have in that row of leaves, and I'm gonna change it up. What I like to do is add some swirls, maybe on the outside of the design as well. So you could make some little swirls. You just wanna make sure that you use the same design all the way around. So I'm almost finished with this one. You can be as detailed as you want. You can work on it as long as you want. 
So if you have colored pencils, you can add color to your design. Or if you have markers, you could add color to your design. But I also want to let you know that they're still beautiful with no color. I hope you had fun with this today. How can we keep this fun going? If you have sidewalk chalk, you could go outside and you could draw a huge mandala in your driveway or out on the sidewalk. You could have a mandala hunt in your house. You could look for radial symmetry either in your house or outside in nature. I'd love to see what you came up with. If you'd like to share, you could send it to the email at the address below or you could post it to our Facebook page. Keep being inspired by all the beauty of the art around you. Thanks for joining us here at Green Acres, the place to be.